First, uh, I'd like to, on behalf of the Johnson County Sheriff's Office, ex express our condolences to the her, uh, Hackamer family. I know they're going through a rough time, and uh, you certainly are there in our thoughts and prayers. Based upon our investigation, and after con consultation with the Johnson County District Attorney's Office, there is no cri criminal liability associated with this incident. The Sheriff's Office reports that it was an, this was an un unfortunate accident. However, civil liability could be determined in the future by a competent uh, court of law. We're not here to place blame or, blame or point fingers at anyone. Uh, we feel this was a very tragic, uh, unfortunate accident. The New York State Department of Labor is also conducting their own independent investigation in reference to the safety, proper operation, and mechanical functions of the ride. That investigation is still pending. However, after meeting with the Department of Labor uh, officials on Tuesday afternoon, it was determined that the ride was mechanically sound and functioning properly at the time of the accident. Darien Lake was and is in full compliance with proper passenger restraints, which included a T uh, lap bar and a uh, seat belt. Darien Lake uh, Ride rules uh, for the Ride of Steel state the following. For the restraint devices on this ride to fully and safely engage, guests must have two legs and be within a certain range of size and physical dimension. In addition, guests must have sufficient body strength and the complete use of at least one arm and hand to hold a grab bar. No guests may ride holding anything or with artificial limbs attached. These rural rides are posted at the entrance and exit of this ride and visible for all riders. Based upon our investigation, which included numerous interviews at, with witnesses, Darren Lake employees and staff, and after consultation with the New York State Department of Labor, the Johnson County Sheriff's Office has made a determination that Mr. Hackamer did not have the physical attributes necessary to be properly restrained on the ride of steel roller coaster. I would like to state that Darien Lake officials have been very cooperative with us and the Department of uh, Labor during this entire investigation. Well, when the officers got there, of course, they, uh, they took uh, photos of the, uh, invest of the, the scene. Uh, they took statements, written statements from all the uh, Darien Lake uh, people who were operating the ride. They took statements from witnesses who were on the ride. Any witnesses who came forth with information, we took statements from. Uh, they, they talked to the nephew who was in a state of shock, got his story. And uh, basically, you know, he went over that third hill and it was, with, with the amount of force, he just flew out of that ride because he didn't have the physical attributes to hold him in with the bar and, and, and the, the lap belt. Now, we looked at photographs. There were photographs at the end of the ride. You know how they take the photographs and they sell you the photographs at the end. And it shows basically just an empty seat and it shows the ride bar still down and still shows the seat belt still connected. So he just basically came out of that seat.